we are back here in our uh, PFL uh, preview show and now puta tayo sa ating uh, one of our powerhouse clubs dito sa PFL ang um, Global Cebu FC and uh, we are joined by the captain Misa Bahadoran and of course their media officer Mark Malcampo guys welcome to the show thank you so much thank for you. having us here First and uh, now you've, you've uh, these guys uh, Global as you know, they've won almost every available trophy I in the Philippines ever since they were now as a powerhouse club you know Misa I, li I like to ask you this question how does it feel to be on top of uh, of the you know the Philippine football right now uh, of course uh, this is it's a, such an honor to be part of it and then uh, it, it didn't come easy we been working so hard and to achieve this and then uh, it wasn't easy for us. We've been through so many things, but we achieved this, and it's part of you know every dream of every football player to be part of these trophies. Like we've been winning a lot of trophies, we've been joining a lot of international tournaments, and we did a good job in. Maybe we were the first club who represents so many of these tournaments, and it was such an honor to be part of it. And I was glad to be the team captain of this uh, club, and then. Uh, yeah, we are so happy and we, we are not yet done. We will keep going and we want to achieve more. And especially since this uh, league has started, so we have to win this one and we want to be the first club who will win the PFL league. Uh, so it's straightforward. Very straightforward. Yeah. Yeah. That's throwing down the challenge to the other teams. Yes, so uh, that's 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 just, to, just to, to say, no, these two gentlemen are very comfortable on, in the camera. and. And Misa, I know you, you, you've been nicknamed Hollywood before. <laughs> you, you've been, you know, very comfortable. Yeah, he's Mr. Camera. Football now. He's yes. Mr. Football now. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Football now. Come more Hollywood. What's, what's the difference now between your style of play now? I've developed old, to the game that the Misa Badwar and the people know now. Of course, I think I matured already a little bit more. And then uh, it's kind of... You know, when you, it's, it's age that experience will change. I started football, professional football, in age of 24. So I was playing futsal. I never played football that much, so professional way. So it was only six years that I, you know, you couldn't expect me to be there, you know, to develop so fast. Other players started maybe age of 16, 15 right now, which is very good. Now by 24, they will be one of, like, very, very, they will be Mr. Football maybe soon. So that's why you can, yeah, I'm already like matured already. So I know how to do teamwork before I used to dribble a lot, maybe run just like a you know, run without knowing where I'm going. But the football is already developed now and I learn faster. We, people are learning faster and the uh, you have experienced player beside you playing right now and you learn things from them. Everything is going faster. That's help Filipino football goes better and better, especially when they're representing in international clubs. That's why, as you see, AFC Cup this year, we are almost, both teams are in top of the group. And then last year, we were not even able to go like us or other. Last year, we couldn't even go top of any, any of this tournament. But as we said, it's all about the development experience of the players well, learning. Well, global is a trailblazer when it comes to uh, competitions. Uh, uh, overseas and of course here they're they're winning titles. Um, Mark, well, what are what are the expectations this season now that uh, I think you you're going to play most of your matches in Cebu, which is a you know which is a very good fan base for for, for your club. Yeah, uh, every year our uh, boss, our club president uh, Dan Palami, he always sets uh, the standards high. So uh, regardless of where we play and uh, now we play in Cebu, we're very happy that we're going to be playing there because it's a hotbed of uh, football. We went there in 2013 for the President's Cup and we had a very good reception and uh, we're really expecting that uh, the fans in Cebu will, will come and support us. You know, being League and Cup champions last year, I mean, we have to have continuous improvement. Indeed. Talk to us about your, your new signings for, for, for the league. Yeah, uh, basically it's uh, Paul Mulders. We got uh, him from uh, Ceres. And uh, Shu Sasaki also, uh, one of the Japanese uh, imports that we, that we signed. So with the core intact of the championship teams last year, and uh, for the cup in the league, we expect to compete 
with uh, the other clubs. Though we understand that it's going to be difficult because the uh, even the newer clubs they've got uh, deep pockets now. So for Global every year it's a challenge to compete. So this year let's hope uh, that we're going to be getting good results. Well, this is my uh, another question for me, sir. You know, what makes Global tick? You know, you've always said that you know Global always it's a lot of problems all the time, but somehow you just find a way to win. Well, what, 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 what ha what's going on there? Is it because Miss Albahadoran is there <laughs> no. in the team? That's why no. I, I, I think he might he, he loves people answer? the wrong way sometimes. Because, <laughs> uh, of course, uh, it's not only Global has so many problems. I think a lot of teams, they have their own problems. But mm -hmm. as you know, we've been through so many problems. Like what happened in Rizal Stadium about our stuff got lost before the game against Miralco. <laughs> so these are the things happened. But you know we have this attitude of there is a line. We 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 brought this in the global that if you step on the line in the field, there is no problems. That's you have to go hundred percent. It's ninety minutes of no matter what or what no matter you've been through. You have to go there 90 minutes, play with your heart as much as possible. You do your 100%, enjoy the game, and win the game and collect the three points. No, it doesn't matter what team you play for against. If it's any team, I don't want to mention, whatever. It's, every game is a championship. So this is the attitude global players have. That's why every game without problems, without or without, with or without, we still go there, we do our 100%. As you see the result already, you can't, I can't say, we are champion, but we are champion last year, and then we've been getting trophies. We are doing good in AFC Cup. We, bought, we won against the, one of the strongest team in Malaysia, which is the champion of Malaysia team, JDT. Then no, everybody would have been surprised. We beat them 3-2. So it means that even problem without problem, in the pitch, we do our job. And that's the secret of us doing a good job already in the everything. And very interesting points there from Misag. It's uh, I think it's more of the mentality of, of yes. global that is really, mm -hmm. you know, really just pushing hard and, and it never say die spirit. That's been evident for all these years, Ryan. And especially when you saw last year, you know, they, we really had this winning run and no team could touch them. And you know what? For Cebu supporters, I'm sure they're excited as well to see you guys. What can Cebu fans expect from Global FC? They expect 100% uh, from us. Every single game, uh, we've got a track record of uh, doing that every single year. So we're expecting na masaya mga magiging laro, lalo na sa Cebu. We'll just make them happy. We try, I promise you guys we'll make them happy. Even <laughs> if we win or lose, we give them a good fight every game, give a good match. I'm not saying make them happy by winning every game. It's mm -hmm. football, you never know. Mm -hmm. But we're promise them that we do 100%. When we are representing Cebu now, it's like you're representing a province and you're representing your city. It's not just a Cebu name. It's just something that you have to, people are watching us. It's like you're playing for the national team, but province side of it. So you have to present, we have to do our best and make the Cebuano happy and proud of us that they're helping us to, and their hospitality, the, everything they provided us in Cebu. So we will go there and show them that their, all their effort and hard work will not just waste it by us just going in the field and kick the ball. We go there, we fight as all Cebuano. Like this wins or this team is, uh, we are representing Cebuano, so they own us. So they are, we are all one team, so that we will show them that we will play them hard and we show them good games. Uh, you know, just to add to that, you know, grab yung pride ng mga Cebuanos, especially. So sports, no, and, and and football in general. Pero alam mo, may instant rival sila ka agad, eh. <laughs> and uh, it's the Visayas rivalry agad, no. Yes. And how are you looking forward to four <laughs> matches, home and away, against <laughs> the rest this season? <laughs> now that you know, magkatabi na lang kayo ng uh, ng uh, ng uh, island. I think it will be more exciting, you know, it's more it's of pride now. and people are really w be excited and it's kind of like make the fans are aggressive for us. So I think yeah. it's going to be tough for us, more pressure and more fun. I think pa fans will be calm a little bit every, <laughs> every game. So. Yes. Thank you so much, uh, Mark so. and Misa. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, very interesting uh, points so there. They, they <laughs> shared.
We will be right back here in the PFL Primer Show. Uh, stick around.